Hey guys, what's up? Mike Mazik here over at Mike Mazik Realty and I'm excited to shoot this video today because I'm gonna talk about something that I know a lot of you are really interested in and that is how much is my home worth, okay? How much is it gonna sell for? Where should I list it at? All that kind of stuff. So I actually built my business by selling expired homes. So expired homes are basically the homes that other agents were not able to get sold. So they expired on the MLS. And so the reason why I say that is because one of the things that I would always tell those sellers whenever I would meet with them is that selling a home is not rocket science, neither is pricing. There's only three reasons why homes don't sell. Either A, they're not being marketed correctly, B, they're not priced correctly, or C, is simply a combination of A and B. Okay, so what I wanna to talk to you guys about today is the pricing part of that equation. I'm gonna do another video on marketing here really soon, but what I want to go over with you today are the fundamental principles behind pricing your home and they're not complicated, okay? This is really simple, it's not rocket science. So let's go ahead and get started. Number one, first thing I tell every seller is that there's four main things that are gonna make up the value of any home, okay? They are location, age, size, and specs. So you've got location, obviously that's gonna be like your neighborhood, um, age, Size, meaning square footage. Specs, meaning the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, and garage, typically. Okay, these four items are gonna tell me what type of product I'm selling, okay? So the analogy that I always use whenever I talk to sellers is that it's just like you can go to a car dealership. Let's say you're gonna go buy a Lexus, right? A Lexus is the product, but then you get a bunch of different makes and models, okay? Now, depending on what make and model it is, is gonna depend on where it's gonna fall within the top and the bottom of the Lexus product. Same thing with homes, okay? So these four items are gonna tell me what is my top and what is my bottom of the market in terms of price. Now, the question is gonna be, where is your home gonna fall within this top and within this bottom? That's gonna be determined by two things. Number one, is time what I mean by that is that a lot of sellers they call us and they just don't have time they need to be out of their home yesterday maybe they're in financial distress who knows okay so how much time does my seller have is gonna help us determine where they should price their home in the, in the midst of this top and the bottom number two is going to be amenities okay so what are the amenities that the home has to offer, the upgrades that have been done to it, maybe the condition of those upgrades, so on and so forth. So whenever we meet with the seller, our number one goal is to walk through the home and say, okay, well, where does this home, okay, rank in terms of amenities in comparing it to the rest of the homes in this location or of this product? So where does this home rank? Is it a bottom, middle, top of the market, or maybe somewhere in between? so on and so forth. So number one goal is to establish what is my top and the bottom, what is my seller's time frame, and how do the amenities of this product compare to the other ones. Now, after we do that, we're gonna have a pretty good idea of what this home's gonna sell for, but we wanna look at two areas, okay? Number one is what has actually sold, okay? So what are the solds, because that's gonna dic dictate there, that top and the bottom, and we wanna make sure that we're lining up with reality, okay? So what is the reality? What have comparable products to yours or to our sellers sold for in the last six to 12 months? Now, number two is we wanna look at what is active. Now, this is where a lot of sellers will get it wrong. The goal with the actives is to make sure that we can create value. Now, what I mean by that is that buyers shop for homes just like they do cars, electronics, appliances, anything else, right? They are doing what? Comparison shopping, okay? Everybody is a comparison shopper. What they're looking for is value, okay? They're looking for value. They don't say that, okay? But that is what they're looking for. They've got a certain amount of money they're willing to spend and they wanna go find, where can I get the best product with the most amenities for the amount of money that I'm willing to spend? So the reason why I say that is because we have to make sure that we're creating value. We can create value in one of two ways. We can either give that person the same product, right? Okay, the same product with more amenities for the same price, 
or we can give them a comparable product with comparable amenities for less price. If we don't do one of those two things, we're probably not gonna create value and the home's probably not gonna sell. So, like I said guys, this, these are the fundamental principles behind pricing a home. I'll tell you, I'll give you the number one mistake that I see a lot of agents and sellers make when it comes to this, okay? The number one mistake is not throwing out what's called the outliers, okay? Here's what I mean by that. Anytime you're analyzing stats, what you're gonna find is that there's typically what's called outliers. In other words, there's gonna be one or two homes at the top and maybe even one or two homes at the bottom that do something that's not indicative of the trend in the marketplace. So in other words, here's what that looks like. Let's say that I, I see a top and a bottom of, of maybe 150 to 200, okay? I'm just gonna throw it. 150,000 to 200,000. And then all of a sudden you see this one home that sold for 248,000. Okay, well it did something that was way above what the top was. Sometimes you see that on the bottom as well. We see that across all price points, is that there's always gonna be what's called outliers. And those are homes that did something that was not indicative of the trend in the marketplace. What you wanna do is throw those out. You've gotta toss those away, because then this is what I tell all of our sellers, is that we don't want you to make financial decisions based on the outliers. Okay, so that's the number one mistake I see, guys. Listen, I hope this helps you. If you want more assistance in selling your home, maybe you wanna know what it's worth, want us to come out, show you all of our different programs, go to MikeHasOptions.com. Um, you'll be able to find out everything that we're doing there. MikeHasOptions.com, there's a little form on the thing. You can fill it out, we'll call you, and we'll set up a time to meet. So anyways, I hope this helps. We'll talk about marketing next time. Talk to you soon.